Hello and welcome to this unboxing video. Uh, today I'm going to open the Kingdom Death Monster Flower Knight. Uh, actually it's already open as you can see. Uh, I was curious to know how this thing looks like. Uh, so I took, took it apart and put it back together. Uh, although everything is still in the shrink wrap, the whatever is inside the box. So the box itself is uh, 9 by 11. It's about 3 feet, uh, 3 inches uh, thick. And the cardboard box is pretty simple. It's nothing, nothing to it. Uh, has a has this, has this zip here. This label here with uh, the Flower Knight kind of logo, the uh, and a few other basic basic information. Uh, so let's take a look at what's inside. Uh, so inside you you have uh, a deck of cards, one sprue. deck of cards, pretty tiny one. Uh, instructions. And uh, this, whatever it is, it's a card. That's that's about it. So uh, let's look at each one of them individually. Okay, so let's open the first deck of cards. See what they look like. So the cards are. Um, US size, so the same size as my Imperial Assault and uh, anyway, any other uh, Fantasy Flight game. Uh, I don't really know what they mean for now. Uh, some of them have some um, scraping marks. This one is a pretty bad one in here. This was pressured by something, probably this crew. So I think these are the the AI deck for the Flora Knights or something like that. I haven't read the rules of the game, so I do apologize. Um, special hunting event. This is Flora Knight hunt event. All of them are called, all of them have this flower knight in the back and then some one letter H, R, H, L. Mm, yeah, they look extremely beautiful to be honest. The card stock quality is not the greatest, but it's good enough. I'll probably just leave all of these cards anyway, so I will actually I will just leave all of them. It's no big deal. Oh, this is the AI. Well, it's, it's as I feel. Quite a lot of AI cards. Uh, I suppose this adds a ton of replayability to the game, although. As I said, I haven't played it yet, so I don't know. Um, quite like the art style. So looks like a colored sketches. Um, so the AI, the H, special hunting decks, the R, HL, that 
politics, innovations, terrain. I suppose it's probably specific to this guy. Um, what's this? Secret fighting arts. I mean, it's probably some of the basic stats from this monster. Okay, so for for comparison purposes, so this is a uh, pure assault card slipped, and it's lost without the sleeves, and fits perfectly. This is a May Day sleeve, the cheaper one. Probably this is the one I'm going to use for all the cards since there are like thousands of them, and this is pretty cheap per, per unit and durable or durable enough. And this is a Magic the Gathering card for comparison. So it's a uh, slightly smaller. Okay, let's look at the uh, What else we have? Let's see, let's look at this guy here. So this is a just two card inside the the plastic. It's probably. Oh, I think it's a it's for the main box. Yeah, it's just a divider, two actually, one for the gear or the other for the. The rest of the Flower Knight cards. Okay. Third one, it's the gear cards. These are actually pretty small. They're two by two. And I think that I know there's only one manufacturer for sleeves. Uh, I think it's 1C or whatever they're called. It's probably going to be very expensive to delete those. So I'll have to read the rules and see if it matters. Their their backsides, if not, then probably not going to sleeve them. Items, armor, uh, weapons, weapons, bow, the gear, etc., etc. So their backsides, I believe they're Saints, memory, or rare gear. Probably, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Maybe it's just level up rarity or something. Anyway, they're pretty small, two by two, as I said. So here's against a PSL card. Very tiny. Anyway, so next up we have the cardboard tokens. So I believe these are four that look exactly the same. And I wonder, I haven't read the rules yet, but I wonder uh, by the looks of it, this will form a circular shape board. Uh, it has the, the, the square grid, which is uh, what the game used for movement. Uh, so I assume this is where you fight uh, this particular monster. And nothing to it. It's pretty thick. Uh, it's small, so it's not warped. Uh, the artwork looks well on par with everything else in the game. So extremely <laughs> detailed and beautiful. Very unique. So now we're going to take a look at the um, 
the rule book. Uh, apologies, it's it's very shiny and, and, and reflexive, so uh, a little bit hard to see, I guess, at some points. Uh, it covers everything related to this uh, particular expansions, how to add the Flower Knight to your game, AI cards, and etc. Um, it has rules for the, the new board uh, that you put together. Uh, it has lots and lots of illustrations with some, I suppose, some background story to set the, the tone. As with everything else in this game, it's beautiful, it's extremely well illustrated. Uh, there's like lots and lots of unique images everywhere, pretty much in every page. Uh, and it gives you a great feeling of the game world itself. Um, some story events in here. And that's, that's pretty much it. So finally, we're going to take a look at the sprue now, and it has obviously the pieces for the actual uh, flower knife, so the torso, the, the cape, leg, arm, a sword, the, the headpiece, and as with uh, pretty much everything else in the game, all the items uh, represented by the cards actually have models that you can attach to your uh, to the miniatures. Uh, probably magnetizing this game is is definitely something that you should consider uh, given the, the, the this how many options you have in terms of gear uh, so you have like a bunch of one one sword uh, three bowls uh, this other type of sword here which I do not remember the name uh, some arrows some masts some more swords in here this thing that looks like a, a cello or a violin uh, so the other side now the mask the flower neck mask back of the cape mine has some small oh, it looks like bubbles in here not sure if it's the feature or a defect uh, but overall the casting is pretty impressive there's very little in terms of mold lines um, not a lot of flush, not a lot of extra plastic, so, uh, well, it's definitely, I guess, worth the, the premium price, uh, or at least they, they make sure that you get something um, of extremely high quality. Oh, there's a little bit of flush in here, but a little bit on the tip of the arrows, but uh, definitely uh, not a lot at all. Um, the design is, well, nothing short that we expect from this game. This is, again, another one of their major, major selling points is how gorgeous everything looks like, all the sculpts, all the illustrations. So there's nothing else. Not a lot to be said about this, except that it's, um, again, very, very pleasant to the eyes. So a little bit of uh, final thoughts in here uh, about what's in the box and the value. Um, as you probably know, this uh, sells for, or used to sell at least at the time of this recording, for $60 at the Kingdom Dev Store. And um, arguably, it's hard to to uh, have a, a, a solid statement in terms of is this worth or not, right? I mean. Uh, are, you can say it, it is or you could say it is not. In terms of materials, that what you see here is just you know, two decks of you know, decks of cards, even though this is pretty thick one, uh, probably a few hundred cards in here. Uh, then, you know, a little, little bit of cardboard, one sprue worth of plastic, uh, the manual and the other deck of cards here. So. This is definitely not worth 60 bucks in terms of what you see. You can get 95% of board games on the market for for 60 or less, uh, especially if you get a promotion or a sale. Uh, so in the end, you're paying for the artistic value, the static value, uh, which this game has in spades. I mean, it's it's unique in every single aspect. 
uh, all the sculpts, all the molds, um, the illustrations, the just the sheer number of illustrations you have in the rule book or the cards. Uh, it's so I think in the end of the day, you're paying again for the artistic value, not so much for what you get in terms of uh, you know stuff, and definitely not so much in terms of plastic. Sixty bucks is you can buy I don't know. Uh, two, uh, six, seven infinity miniatures, maybe almost like two Mollyfall uh, crew boxes. You could buy very high quality resin uh, miniature for boutique studios. Anyway, but again, uh, if that's if it appeases your eyes in terms of the art style, uh, the game itself, I believe is a very mature game, which is kind of unique, I guess, uh, nowadays. It's definitely aimed towards adults. It's not for children, and it's specifically said that on the on the expansion box. Um, again, if you want to support the creator of the game, uh, then I think it's certainly worth that money. And it was for me. I mean, unfortunately, I'm not on the lucky guys that uh, got into the Kickstarter. I, I didn't know anything about anything in terms of miniatures or board games when this game was on Kickstarter uh, but since I sort of started uh, getting interested into painting miniatures or playing board games uh, it was always on my radar honestly I don't I always thought it wouldn't see the light of day I always thought Kingdom Death would be a failed project but thankfully uh, they deliver Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.